Jay, if I said the reason for this year's Final Four is none, an anomaly, older players, NIL, hurting the bigger programs, three-point shot, or other. I'd say it, it would be more anomaly, Dan, that uh, even though there are some firsts in this year's Final Four, it's the first time uh, since 79 when they went to seeding that there's not a one, two, or three seed in the Final Four. But at the same time, we've got a four, two fives, and a nine. Uh, if you go back to 2011, uh, we had a, uh, a three, a four, a nine, and an 11. And so, I mean, the, the seed numbers were higher that year. We don't have a double-digit seed this year. Uh, Florida Atlantic won 30-some games in the regular season. They were ranked in the top 25. Uh, UConn was ranked number one at one point in the season uh, in late November. Um, it's not like this is some shocking uh, Final Four. We, we just have some first-timers. And we didn't have any knockout punch great teams this year. But we've had years like that before. San Diego State, the only Final Four team that was ranked preseason top 25. And they were 19th. And I know yeah. preseason rankings are always difficult because you're not quite sure team matures or player, you know, they mesh or somebody gets hurt, whatever it might be. But uh, still, that's pretty shocking. Yes and no. I mean, San Diego State's not allowed to lose. So they're ranked. They got beat by Arizona when Arizona was a top ranked team all year long. They got beat by Arizona and Maui, and then they lose a couple of conference games. They've lost five games overall. They're not allowed to lose in the Mountain West. And so you don't get a lot of respect from voters when you lose. And UConn went on a six-game slide, which, you know, was kind of hard to explain. But, you know, in November, everybody thought they were the best team. Yeah. And, uh, and they go on that slide, and then they picked it back up again. And at the beginning of the tournament, you know, when the bracket came out, that was the first thing I said was like, UConn. I mean, UConn's going to going to win this thing. And, you know, then I thought about it longer and I said, well, maybe Arizona. And then Arizona <laughs> got bounced, bounced in the first round. But but that just went to sort of the no knockout punch teams. You know, we, we had a bunch of good, really good teams, but nobody was was great, was truly great. But, uh, you know, and, and people say that's what they want, you know. They want the, the little guy to have a chance, which it does every year. Like the, there's nothing more fair than the NCAA tournament. Everybody gets a fair shot to get in. All you have to do is win your automatic bid, which is against your peers. And it's done in, uh, in almost every conference. I think it is every conference now. It's done by a tournament. And so the truth is everybody is in the NCAA tournament. All they have to do is win their automatic bid and they get in. Um, but, but, uh, and then they take the, the next best teams after that. And that's where the argument get, comes in is what is, what does best teams mean after that? 